Well, and and the, so when when I the 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 the, the most moving cinematic experience and still when people ask me oh what's your favorite film that's a, you know people always say what are your top five films and that's a very very hard thing to, t- to t- <laughs> I mean I do and they always, always invariably come back to La Strada 1955 I first saw it at Playhouse or one of the art houses, probably the Playhouse or the Charles. And I guess it was in 1962, around then, 62. And uh, it was right when everything was changing, because in 63, everything changed. They shot Kennedy... Uh, Jean Cocteau died. <laughs> Edith Piaf died. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, 1963, 1962, there was just, there, there was so much, well, everything was beginning to, the, you know, people were beginning to, the civil rights movement was taking, that was taking root, people that, the actual f- human feelings were, be, were beginning to be, to, to well up, <laughs> you know, and be, to cause things like, the, you know, well, like, the ant that like the poverty the march well in 1963 i was there in front of the lincoln memorial on that august morning and i listened to dr king have his dream and i you know I, and so that's the type of of, uh, of tumultuous emotional uh uh wave that was that was rolling then and uh, I, La Strada the, made me, it was so real and so depressing <laughs> and so, and it hurt. And it was the first time I'd ever really been that kind of physically affected by a film that I, I, I couldn't that I, I, it was like a traffic accident. I, I couldn't take my eyes off it, and I, I wanted to hide my eyes from it. When they, when he kills the fool, and she realizes it, and that veil comes over her eyes and over her, her character. And it gets thicker and thicker until finally we have Anthony Quinn looking for her 10 years later, wandering down that beach. And every single time I see that, and I've, I've seen La Strada maybe 50 times, probably. <laughs> but... Uh, there's other films I've seen more times, but that that one I've seen probably about fifty times because it, there are some films that you have to be you have to be careful with. They're they're delicate and you can't watch them too much. But you, you know what I mean. You they're they're they have to be administered like a medicine. <laughs> and La Strada is one of them, and so is Knights of Cabiria. And that's when I realized, and I, that's when Fellini became my god. And then by the time Giulietta came out, I was t- tripping with uh, everybody, and we were all tripping to the light fantastic of Fellini's incredible world. You know, he he just gave us, he gave you, everybody gave us this incredible world to step into if we had, if we had the wherewithal to do it. And if you were a cinephile, you had the wherewithal to do it.